The SADC facilitator is in Lesotho to monitor progress in the national reforms progress ahead of the upcoming national elections. But with recent political power tussles in the ruling party, the envoy is aware that with Lesotho anything is possible. No, I mean, I, I was saying to some senior leaders in this country that Basotho never failed to um, amaze the most, the biggest supporters and admirers. They continue to amaze. But political tussles are certainly not my terrain. I want to make sure Parliament works and it works in a way that it can adopt the reforms way before elections. And a modicum attempt to rope the judge into the international political conflict. You are an esteemed member that can be listened to. I'm not going to talk about Ukraine and Russia. Views I have, and I'm not sharing them now. While the reforms are a priority, the leader of the opposition is amazed to hear that the Minister of Finance says he considers the financial budget having been tabled. The words of emotion uh, have been probably pronounced, but the bill has not been presented to Parliament. If it's going to present it to, to, to the public at a press conference, I am one of the members of Parliament. I haven't seen the bill. And to some pushing for a regime change, our party remains steadfast in saying, politicians, please respect the nation. This is not the time to change government. In an attempt to ensure a smooth implementation of the national reforms, the SADC envoy will further meet Lesotho Prime Minister Mekitsi Majoro and the newly elected leader of all Basotho Convention, Nkakukabi, so as to establish a possible common ground that will ensure stability ahead of the upcoming national elections. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolosur.